For the second time in the past month and a half, thieves rushed into a lot near Chrysler's Jefferson North plant and stole brand new cars. Let's get to Sean Lay's live tonight. And Sean, as we've seen in the past, it's uh, shock and awe when they pull off a theft like this. It's almost like something out of a movie. Big time here. Crews right behind me continuing to fix the shattered gate here for another time. People walking by shaking their heads. Can't believe that this has happened again tonight. We are learning the surprising motive behind it all. Local four cameras are there this morning to capture the damage yet again. A team of thieves getting into this guarded lot. One thief driving this new Dodge Ram through a steel gate, while the others drive off with a brand new Jeep Cherokee and three $60,000 Dodge Challenger Hellcat muscle cars. This keeps happening here, but new tonight. Police say this is not an organized ring of car thieves, but bold crews taking the cars on joy rides. They're stealing um, powerful vehicles, Charger Hellcats and vehicles like that, and driving them around the city at high rate of speed, uh, which creates danger. This lot is controlled by Cassin's Transport. New vehicles are assembled across the street at Jefferson North, then many are brought here. We showed you just weeks ago this video at the same lot. Thieves crashing new Dodge Durangos through the gate. But at this lot, it keeps happening and keeps happening with ease. They're not taking these vehicles somewhere and chopping them up and uh, getting rid of the parts, so we're recovering the vehicles. Earlier this year, a thief crashed driving a new car out of the Jefferson North facility. Now, Jane App is surrounded by concrete barriers, razor wire, even an off-duty officer standing guard. That's the new and improved security right across the street at Jefferson North. Here at this transport lot, we do not see the level of security here. DPD says they are working with the transport company, Kimberly, to tighten up security here big time. Back to you. So police are saying they're not an organized ring of car thieves, Sean. Have they made any arrests then in this case or the one a few weeks ago? That's something we learned today, too. Two arrests so far and two different thefts from this lot. They've recovered all of, of the vehicles, almost a half million dollars worth also. So they believe they're being stolen, driven around, and then dumped. But they're just too easy to do it right here. Unbelievable. All right. Thanks, Sean.